now available in paperback and Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. I recently saw a meme on Facebook that said, you guys get money and go save the woman who didn't want you when you were broke. And this meme really took me back to my days in high school and junior high school, where a lot of guys, they would be going out here chasing girls, and as they would go out here and chase girls, they would chase the girls who didn't want them when they didn't have anything. And when they started to get up and get themselves together, what they did was come back for those kinds of women who didn't want them in the first place. And when it comes to guys like this, the real problem isn't the women that they're chasing. The problem is them. And the problem is them because these individuals have extremely low self-esteem and they have low self-esteem because only a guy with low self-esteem is going to work to get himself up to a certain level and get himself established. And then after working to get himself established on a higher level, then bring himself back down to the level of the woman who didn't want anything to do with him when he didn't have any money. Now, when this guy didn't have any money, this was the same girl making fun of a dude, mocking him for his clothes, mocking the way that he, that he spoke, mocking the way he carried and conducted himself, showing him absolutely no respect. And what this guy believes is that because she's out here talking to these guys like the pookies, the dope dealers, and the gang members, that if he goes out here and gets himself together, he will be able to make an impression on her and get her attention. But the problem with this guy is, is that that's a covert contract he created that she didn't agree to. And what this guy does is he uses that as his motivation to build himself up. And as he uses that as his motivation to build himself up, he doesn't see how he's basically letting himself get set up for a huge fall. Now, when it comes to these guys who go out here and look to build themselves up in order to come back for the women who disrespected them, what they do is they don't see that they show how little self-esteem they have because when you build yourself up to get to a certain level, when you get up there, you don't bring yourself down to the level of someone who does not respect you. No, you, bring your, you keep yourself up on that level and you deal with the people on that level. That is what a healthy person does. But when it comes to these guys who are simps, what they do is think, oh, if I come up here and I show that I got this job and I got this education and I got this money and I look like this high value man, this person who basically is at the bottom, they're gonna basically see them and see that and become impressed by them. But in most cases, that same woman who, was, who didn't want you when you were broke isn't going to be impressed by you and is not going to be impressed by you at all because she has different values than you have. That's the thing that many guys don't understand when they work to get themselves up. This person who was already out here had no respect from you from the beginning. They didn't respect you at all. And again, since they didn't respect you at all, they're not going to value anything that you have, whether you be a high-value man who makes six figures or a low-value person. They don't value you as a person at all. No, all they value is what they want. And what they want is at the bottom of the world because this person is a scavenger anyway. But what these guys do is think that they can go out here and once they get themselves together, they can put on their Ben Cooper cape and their Power Rangers galoshes and, and fly down the bee cap and save them. But you, when you fly down, basically you're bringing yourself down to another level, a level where this person, again, does not see you as a hero, but they see you as a chump. And because they see you as a chump, they basically see those guys who get the money 
and, and, and get established and look to go save them as tools that they can use to get from point A to point B. And as they look to make that travel, they make they make pit stops over to Mr. Pookie or Mr. Dope Boy or Mr. Convict and get their back blown out. And as they're getting their back blown out, they're basically taking this guy's money and spending this guy's money. And as they're spending his money, he's thinking that he's going to finally get the girl of his dreams and he's going to save her. But no, there's no saving that woman because ultimately what she wants to do once she finishes with you is go out here and make some kryptonite doo-doo and smash it straight in dude's face. And that's why when a guy goes out here and gets himself together and gets his mind right, he understands that the first thing he needs to do is stay on that level one and then to work towards getting his mind right so that he can be with people on his level because people on his level are going to be the ones that value him and he's going to want to stay with those people who value him because on that level those people will appreciate what you have to offer because if this person didn't want you when you were broke, then they're not going to want you when you have money. Yes, they will feign interest in you to get what they want out of you. And once they finish getting what they want out of you, they go back to their whole state of life. And again, this is why men need to understand that it's not about how much money you have with women. You have to look at women as who they are based on their character. And as you look at who they are based on their character, you have to understand that women are as is. And if she didn't want you when you were broke, she wouldn't want you when you had money. No, if she didn't want you when you didn't have any paper in your pocket, she ain't going to want anything but the paper in your pocket because women who respect you want you for you and want to be with you for you. So there's no way you can work yourself up to improve yourself with someone who didn't want you in the first place. All you're doing is basically going on a wild goose chase thinking you can make yourself more educated, make yourself more professional, make yourself more attractive to basically try to get the same ghetto chick. And that's what a lot of men go out here and do. They'll get themselves together. And then what they do is go down to the hood spot. And they go down to the hood spot or the place where the low hanging fruit are, thinking that they're going to get somebody easy. But they wind up with a hard time. Because again, if, these, if this person didn't want you when you had nothing, they're not going to want you when you have something. And they're not going to want you because again, they want what they want and you have to accept that that person wants what they want because they're on a low level and the whole thing is once you work yourself up to getting to the next level once you work yourself up to getting to that next level then you ain't got to deal with somebody who didn't want you when you were broke because once you get your money and once you get yourself together and when, most importantly get your mind right you look at the person who didn't want you when you were broke and just forget who they were. I mean, you look at them and go, oh, I want that's somebody I don't even care about at this point. Not even somebody that even matters at this point because I'm on another level. And now that I'm on another level, I'm going to be working with those people who want to work with me and leave her to the tender mercies of Pookie and Ray Ray. That's what you do because, again, when you were at the bottom and you weren't nobody, this person didn't see you as anybody important, but you get with people who see you as somebody and respect you as someone, and that's the people you deal with once you get your money and get yourself established. You find yourself with people who value you as a person, and you stick with the people who value you as a person and stay with those people who value you as a person instead of dealing with those who don't want anything to do with you. Now, if you want to learn how to break out of this simp paradigm and, and dealing with people who don't want anything to deal with you and be, are able to learn how to identify these kind of female predators, you can pick up my books in the simp series. 
like stop simping, why men don't need finance to get romance, stop simping in the workplace, stop simping in cyberspace, and other books I've done, like The Misadventures of Captain Save Him, which will really go in depth on why you don't save toxic women, you can find those books in my book, The Man Crisis and The Woman Crisis, and why 70% of black women are single on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Craft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and Big Box retailers like Walmart and Target. And if you'd like to see me make more videos about men's issues, you can drop a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback. Stop simping in the workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.